This is the size of your typical abortion at six to eight weeks. The size of a pea or a grain of rice. Nearly all are done when smaller than a grape or, a grape or olive in the first trimester, unless if they're serious conditions. Yet pro-birth drama queens want to give 99 years in prison or even the death penalty for simply removing this pea-sized embryo or unformed fetus. I am not PC. They are not unborn children. Just like a seed is not a tree. This is not a child. A grain of rice. The only the only embryos that matter are endangered species. Vegans happen to only care about sentient beings long-term suffering from birth to death. Look up factory farm videos. These are not sentient, so neither matter. Here's a funny illustration showing protesters cheering, thinking abortion rates are down due to them. No, they are down due to places like Colorado offering free birth control that saves taxpayers millions in future welfare costs and lowers termination rates up to 40%. So the church is failing. Your anti-birth control stance is causing more terminations or need for them while progressive policies are lowering termination rates. Free birth control, win-win-win situation. Lowers termination rates, saves taxpayers millions, and prevents the human overpopulation crisis. But religion and logic do not mix. They're so pro-life, they eat their birds, eat more of them eat more of our factory farmed birds and we hate gays who pay all parents welfare in many forms like socialist public schools, huge child tax credits, daycare layoffs, paid paternity leave and much more, but they hate them. They don't adopt the near half million kids in foster care despite them begging. Planned Parenthood's great services offered. Well, you have all this crazy protesters, conception, no exception, old men harassing young women, arson, no bomb them again as we know there's been thousands of thousands of terrorist attacks on women's clinics and here's another protester keep your legs closed sluts well married people or people who are in long-term relationships may not want kids either or to overpopulate embryo baby killers stop gays from adopting even though many are waiting for homes so this is a funny illustration dotard pos President of the United States, I mean, piece of shithead, asks Mike Pence Cotton Hill what he has to do to be pro-life. Oh, it's easy. You do nothing. You just act special and tell women what to do from my interpretation of my Bible. And the flipper, who thought that trophy hunting was a horror show and reversed on that, on endangered species, and then suddenly started supporting pro birthers, pro force birthers. He's so pro life, he's sitting there eating his Chick fil A birds that are filling up his fat stomach, buying a fur coat for his prostitute, and his son, Dotar Jr., trophy hunts elephants. And since Trump loves walls so much, Junior kills an elephant for his wall. Truth that Dotar Jr. trophy hunts elephants and that Trump made it legal to import their heads again. How does gun control not work? But birth control will work. Keep it safe and legal. So pro birther shit list. They hate women, they hate Mother Earth, they hate endangered species because they made imports legal again, they hate gays, hate minorities, hate poor people, hate foster care kids, migrants, and animals. That's what it takes to be pro-birth. Do nothing.
just act like you're special. Don't like abortions, just ignore them like they ignore foster care kids. And here's a good pictogram of what it means to be pro-birth. Pure hypocrites. Pause and share if you care. Size does matter. No, they are not equal. The one on the right is worth more than a million of the ones on the left.